Welcome back to A Closer Look. The commissioning of Kidney Dialysis Center in Port Moresby General Hospital is a transition phase where chronic kidney disease patients will move from the dialysis to transplant after meeting the requirements of the process. This was alluded by the chairman of the Kidney Transplant Project Committee, Dr. Oktipoki. According to National Health Service, dialysis is a procedure to remove waste products and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys stop functioning well. Se Isi Kevau, a long-term serving physician and the director for Se Buri Kidu Art Institute, highlights that the underlying cause of the kidney disease in the past was infection. He said kidney diseases causing the kidney failure was present in the good old days, where kids and young adults would develop inflation under their skin and the body would respond to that. That reaction would go into the kidneys causing it to inflame which results in kidney failure. According to Dr. Pocky, people living with chronic kidney diseases have three sessions a week for dialysis. Pointing out the differences between kidney dialysis and kidney transplant, Dr. Pocky said patients undergoing the dialysis cannot go back to their normal lives as they become dependent on the dialysis machine, while patients undergoing the kidney transplant can return to their normal lives after the operations. Dr. Pocky said his team aims to get the transplant underway so their patients can go back home and live normal lives. It's going to be the first uh, transplant we want to do for our patients for this country and for the Pacific and we want to be the regional hub for uh, transplant service. I'm sure other centers around the Pacific are, are doing uh, dialysis maybe, we, we, we don't know, but uh, I think our ultimate aim is to go to transplant so our patients are sent back. When you get a transplant, you get a new functioning kidney and you go back to normal life. Dr. Pocky revealed that the target month for the first kidney transplant in the country will be in May of this year. He said with the support of its valid partners like the PNG Kidney Foundation and Transplant Links community from the United Kingdom, POMGEN is prepared to conduct its first kidney transplant. We have undertaken this project with the support of our partners, including PNG Kidney Foundation, with all the training, uh, we are ready. I, I, can, I can say that we have our partners that are supporting us, uh, the Transplant Links community from UK, that's a 10-man team, and we, are, uh, we have had a visit by the lead team or the professor that's uh, going to lead the team. He was here last year, and he assessed our facility and our hospital, our operating theatre, and he looked at our programs and he was very confident that we can, we are ready for a transplant program and he gave us the thumbs up. Sharing his experience as a former urologist, the Secretary for Public Health, Dr. Osborne Liko said, it was always disheartening having to send back patients who were at the end stage of kidney failure back home in the past. Only very few, less than one percent, those who had money I was able to get them all the basic necessities there, the fitness to get them to Singapore, to um, Philippines, to Manila, even to China for transplant. But just imagine the rest of our people. It was in states and was, I sent them home with tears. That was 20 years ago. It's a dream to come to this far now. And to me, 
it's a joy of satisfaction. Dr. Liko stressed that the aim is to make PNG's National Referral Teaching Hospital the last bus stop of the people who cannot afford to go overseas for kidney transplant. However, reiterating on Dr. Pocky's statement, the Secretary for Health said kidney dialysis is only a transition that will need a lot of funds to maintain. Dialysis is only a transition. It needs lots of lots of money. And at the moment, with our budget, it is going to be a challenge for each hospital. Mandy now has got the dialysis. We will have um, Western Britain, Kim Besun, thank you, um, Kidney Foundation, to supporting that. And you've heard from our speech from opening remarks of our CEO. We want to make our National Referral Teaching Hospital, level 6 PM, just be the last bus stop for the rest of our people who cannot afford to go overseas. But what does it mean? It means lots of additional money from the goods and services and PIP funding that we've got at the moment. It's not easy. When CEO and I will put through our corporate plans and our national health plan, and we'll have to ask the government to get this funding going for dialysis. But without the support of kidney foundations, all our corporate um, sponsors out there on the fundraising to get this going at the cost of 150, it's very, very minimal, but how far we can stretch that envelope, it's a big challenge. Emphasizing on the importance of this new development, Seisi Kevau said the challenge to have good health is to control what you eat. And uh, the challenge is also for all of us to share with our young generation that in this lifestyle, this is what we eat, what we buy from the shops, what we eat, there's a lot of processed food stuff and we don't know what's inside there. And the reaction and, 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 and what goes on in our system is what we see particularly uh, in, in, in the ones that we already mentioned, coronary artery disease, a stroke and uh, diabetes and uh, all of this. Sharing the same sentiment with Se Isi Kevau on good health, the Deputy Secretary of Public Health, Ken Y, expounds on the prevention is better than cure team. It's better than cure. But when it comes to cure, you need a big hospital like this. You need specialist medical officers. You need specialist equipment. You need specialist cure. And you need a lot of money and you become sick. When you are sick, the family is sick, the individual is sick. We can contribute to the well-being and the development of the nation. Highlighting that PNG has a lifespan of 65.4 years, while other nations have up to 70 plus years, Mr. Ken Wise said Papua New Guineans must go back to eating organic food. Mr. Wise said lifetime diseases that lead to kidney failure can easily be prevented by controlling what you eat. Diabetes stroke, uh, all the different diseases that can easily be prevented. As they say, you are what you eat and you are what you do. That's why uh, we need to do a lot more in prevention. But what we are eating, how we are behaving, how we are becoming lazy, how we are uh, not eating the right food, it's, it's making us uh, become sick. That's why in Papua New Guinea we need to do a lot more. Let's go to the vegetables. Let's go to our cocoa and our banana and our peanuts and our fish. Let's go to pork and a few other things that are good meat instead of going to lamb flaps. The Deputy Secretary revealed that public health's main focus will be on prevention starting with immunization. stressed that programs like the kidney dialysis is expensive and people must watch what they eat to avoid lifetime diseases that leads to kidney failure.
now take a quick breather, but when we return, we will take a closer look at what transpired this week regarding the much-anticipated vote of no confidence. <laughs> 